is week nine of our project. We are raising oysters and now clams yep. um, for the Restore Our Shores Foundation and the Brevard County Zoo to um, eventually be placed on artificial reefs and used throughout the Indian River Lago Lagoon to restore the ecosystems and restore water quality in the Indian River Lagoon. So we're gonna go check on them today and do our weekly maintenance. You guys can see right here, the kids playing in the river, having fun. This is one of the reasons why we want the river to be clean, safe for our kids to play, safe for our families to enjoy. Makes the fish cleaner. Well, the little one's already in the water. Oh yeah, he loves it. Raymond went right into the water. Looks like it's high tide right now. Yeah, it's definitely high tide. So this week we don't have to do much. Oh, the water's still pretty clear. I'm surprised uh, with all the wind we have. We have like 25 mile an hour sustained winds coming off the ocean, but water is still pretty clear. So today uh, we don't have to do much to the clams. We swept them off last week. You can check out last week's video. Um, Annalisa went out there and swept off the bags that the clams are in. Uh, we'll do a visual. If we see something that looks alarming, we might get in and uh, see what it is. But I, I don't... It'd be hard to see anything small, any predator. Oh, they look pretty clean. Look at them. Good. We moved everything shallower. Yeah, you can see these black... Oh, yeah, they look good. These black areas. There's a little bit of sand on this one. You can see right there. And that's what we would be sweeping off. I can see maybe a little bit of sand. That might uh -huh. be in between the bags, actually, though. I'm not yeah, sure if that's... some sand there. So uh, we, but I think it's okay. I like, think it I is. I can still kind of see through it yeah. a little bit. So. so we'll probably sweep these off next, next week. week. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but this week, did you get my tool? What tool? No. My scrubber tool? I didn't. Okay. Um, this week, we will pull um, the, the, the oyster cages up and uh, clean them up and then let them sit uh, for eight hours to mimic the low tide. And we moved them down to shallower water last week um, and we redistributed them. All, uh, so that they were even numbers in all the baskets. Yeah. And uh, so it'll be interesting to see how they look. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna hand the camera over to you. Can I get a pair of those gloves? Probably should be wearing shoes too. Or not, here you go. Um, so I'm gonna pull these up, get the camera on each one when I pull them up, because sometimes something interesting comes up with them. Let's start back here, here you go. We got two back here. I think I see a, a crab on, on that on one. Look at all the fish on these. You see them? Oh, yeah. Like catfish, maybe? I think they are catfish. Let's pull this out and see how close we can get them to our camera. Don't they notice? Oh, yeah. They're gone. probably cleaning them somewhat, right? I'm out of here and get some of this mud and soap off. Oh, they're getting heavy. Ugh. You're getting heavy. Alright, it fell out there. I'll stick that one back in. Alright, what's on this one? No, nothing on top. I'm gonna pull this one all the way out and see if we can catch a predator in action here. See any predators? Oh, there's a little uh, sheep's head right here. Oh, see yeah. it? Oh, we got stuck. We'll find his way out. I'll get him. Watch out. Let's see. How am I going to get that guy? Now he created a problem for us. I got a little rope right don't here. I don't want to leave him in the crack. That wouldn't be nice. I don't think he'll reach. Hold on. Let me get right, I'll use this one. The rope's not going to do it. All right. There he goes. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we got him out. Do you want to shake that in the water? Yeah, I'll shake that out. So this will just make our job of rinsing them a little easier. Yeah, for sure. Okay. We got six total. See predators in there. Uh-uh. No, neither. Yeah, a lot comes off of them. Yeah. When you do that. A lot does. Yeah. 
lot cleaner. Look at that. You can actually yeah. see them now. Nice. Bring it up here and see if we can get a better some kind in there. Nope. It's good. It's a good thing. It's funny because part of me wants to find one so we can show everybody I know. on video. But of course we don't want them in there. So. This is like the point when they just start getting bigger. Yeah. And like a lot, That's noticeably heavy. bigger every week. It would be cool to weigh them. Yeah. Oh, man. That's heavy. <laughs> Two, four, there must be one more right here. And on this one, oh, there's a bunch of fish on it. Yep. More of the catfish. Are those oh, catfish? I think so, yeah. Let's see if we can get them up closer. I wonder if they're eating the algae off of the cages. Seems like they are. Seems like the cages are cleaner. Any predators in that one? Uh-uh. That's a good thing. Maybe there's Fisher. Throwing it all away. Yeah. Ugh. All right. That's a great. Great. So I'm gonna get the hose. What do you think we need my scrubber tool this week? Yeah. The cages don't look that bad. Yeah, they do. They look great. You want to pull one out real yeah, quick? Yeah, let's pull one out. Have a look at it. Oh, these look real good. Look at that. Nice. So this started out as just one old oyster shell, and they seeded a whole bunch of little baby oysters on here. Now there's, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, there's like thirty. Oh, I think more than that. Probably fifty on this one. It's amazing. It is. This is like a single one right here. Yep. You can see here, there's a couple that are on the bottom of this one. Obviously, this one wasn't as successful. Yeah. Some, some of them had ones. like a gajillion yeah. on the shell, and some only had like eight or nine. Oh, yeah. So good, I guess though. it's just however they stick, you know? Whoa. Whoa. Fish isn't happy. We took his oysters. He wants to sit on his oyster cage. <laughs> it's like his recliner. It's his nest. This is lazy boy. He's like, what happened to it? All right, this one's done. All right. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and because uh, that's we're just going to repeat the process for all five of these. So uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray all these down, and then we'll just get back with everybody when we're done and show them what they look like. All right, sounds good. All right, y'all. We are in the middle of cleaning the cages, and look what just showed up. Huge. A giant manatee, and you know, oh, he's got a boat strike, oh. or she. I can't tell. So you know why I think it's here? Oh, look at that. Because we're washing them. Um, the fresh oh. water from the hose. Oh, look hey. at that. Hey! Oh. Oh, man. We are so lucky. Oh, Holy cow, God. look at that. Oh, it's huge. It's really big. Oh, oh man. Yeah, it looks a big one. This is why we're this is why we're doing these projects, everybody. So that the seagrass will grow for these guys. Oh man, that what a special visit. Oh my gosh, oh look my at gosh. that. That was so cool. Holy what cow. Yeah. I didn't even see it. I was over here scrubbing scrubbing the cages and Annalisa came it out. Came right up to Her us. stuff almost blew off of the dock and then <laughs> it came right there it is right there. Oh man. Oh, man. That was so cool. 
Too bad the kids weren't still out here. Yeah. All right. So um, what I was saying just a minute ago, the manatee might have been here because of the fresh water from the hose. They are attracted to fresh water. Uh, they'll actually come and drink it. You're not supposed to leave your hose running, you know, to attract manatees. That's not what we were doing, obviously, but I yeah. think it came up because of that, so. All right, cool, I'm gonna get back to scrubbing these cages. All right, so we finished our cages here. That was super exciting, the yes. manatee, super exciting. That's why we're out here doing this, but we finished cleaning the cages. Somehow I got way extra dirty this time, I don't know. And also we did decide to go up and get the scraper tool just to do an extra good job. So we did scrape them off, but you can see they're a lot cleaner now. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to keep up with the, uh, with the growth every week. This stuff will just attach to these like, I mean, it's just crazy. There's no wonder why stuff goes bad in, in the ocean. It's not just the salt water, it's all this other, all the other life. All right, cool. So they're looking good. Yeah, yeah. they're growing so much faster now. Yeah. That's warming up, so it's exciting. Clams look good too. You can see them down there, the beds. You can't see the clams, but you can see the bags. Uh, like I said, we'll probably come out next week and sweep those off. I don't think we need to do it this week. So. Awesome. Yeah, all right, all right, y'all. If anybody has any questions or comments, just post down below. If you have any questions about the Restore Our Shores Foundation, uh, you can post down below or go directly to their website. Um, I'll have a link to it in here somewhere. Um, but uh, we hope you enjoyed this week. Check back next week for another update. Until oh, we got to do that too, don't we? Okay. Let's do that. So this is, we actually did have to do this for the clams. Um, we did have to do one thing for the clams and it's the, uh, we got to take a water sample, a water reading. Salinity reading. Yep. So we'll do that real quick. So I just kind of learned a new trick today. Is if you shake it around like underwater, like you want to rinse it out really good first. But if you shake it out, it'll get all the bubbles out too. Yeah, so if there's bubbles in here, it'll mess up the reading of that little floaty uh, triangle thing yeah. inside of her gauge there. It'll um, float the triangle. Right, so you got to get all the bubbles out. You just want water in, in there. I still see bubbles in there. Yeah. yeah. Alright, that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, that's what I got before. It's about 30. It was a little lower. It was last um, week, last, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it was last week. But I think before when I did it, I took more time to get the bubbles off. And it was like 37. So. All right, cool. And then yeah. we just go and report that reading to their website. Uh-huh. Uh, and the directions are all in like yeah. a little package of things. They and so you. there's volunteers all up and down the river here that are doing the same thing, you know, so they can get different readings and... and get a better picture of, uh, a whole, uh, you know, a more whole picture of what's going on yeah. in the lagoon. So. All right, cool. All right, like I said before, if anyone has any questions or comments, um, either contact the Restore Our Shores Foundation or post down below. We'd be happy to answer your questions. Until next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.